Now, unfortunately, my channel has come under attack the last couple of days, uh, so rather than try and defend myself in the comments from the person who was, you know, harassing me, I thought what I'd do is I'd block them, you know, not give them any satisfaction of a reply, but I thought I'd do a general video reply where I talk about the subject. Now, what seems to have happened is obviously I do lots of videos on here about gas masks, as you know, and I do videos about filters and gas masks and whatever else. And the explanation I always give people is that a filter and a gas mask can both expire. The filter is always before the gas mask. But obviously there's kind of a middle ground which is the best way of looking at it. You don't want to look at really, really um, new gas masks and think they're the only thing that will work. Because lots of companies try and sell gas masks by saying, you know, our gas mask is brand new, any old mask, as soon as it goes out of its expiry date won't work, this is the only thing that will protect you. And you also have other companies that are selling really dodgy old surplus masks saying this mask will protect you just fine, nothing can ever go wrong with a gas mask. And the middle ground is the most sensible one to take. Masks do have a factory shelf life, but as long as none of the components have been damaged outside of that they're fine. They're just simply moved on later because of, you know, um, like health and safety rules towards dates. And the same logic really does sort of apply with filters, which is something I've always said. Is that obviously a filter is definitely going to guarantee your safety when it's inside of its shelf life. But outside of its shelf life, you know, there might be more risks. And the f closer it is from being expired, so if it ran out in 2010, you're looking at it in 2012 is going to more likely protect you than if it's in 2015 or even later, say. And that's sort of just common sense, isn't it? Um, unfortunately, it seems that there's a channel, and it's quite a shame, because um, I think I'd watched his videos before, and they were fairly good. Um, you know, it said, I've lost sales because of you, because I guess he sells surplus on the side. Um, he's saying, I've lost sales because of you, because people now are demanding to know when the filter's expired, even though it doesn't matter, because filters can't expire. Oh. Well, they can, because that's why there's expiration dates on filters. Um, so, I'm guessing this guy's got quite upset because he likes to sell filters and he tells everybody that they can never expire no matter what. And I think his argument is, if a filter's sealed, it can't expire. So, I thought we'll have a look at that logic, shall we? So, the idea being, if a seal filter is perfectly sealed, the carbon inside can't expire. So, a filter will work indefinitely. Now, there's more than just carbon inside a filter or activated charcoal, and even with activated charcoal there's things you have to think about. So, let's say you have a filter and its expiration date is 2010, and you're outside of 2010. Now, as well as the charcoal in there, you've also got the particulate filter that's normally made of paper and glued in, and obviously as you know, over time glues break down, lots of things can fall apart that are glued over time and you've got lots of other components. Now in some NBC and CBRN filters you have chemically treated paper or chemically treated other stuff and that's designed to neutralize certain gases when they hit the chemicals. What happens is over time if you've had those filters those chemicals can wear out. I'm sure most of you will know that if you have chemicals you know over time they will wear out even if they're sealed and obviously it stands to reason that over time as they become less effective they become less useful at filtering gas, that's pretty common sense. So, as I said, you've got glues that can wear out in a filter, you've got chemical treatment inside filters that can wear out, and you've also got, with the activated carbon, if it's of a certain size, over time you can get the carbon break down, even if not exposed to the air, just through, you know, the laws of physics, stuff will eventually break down, the carbon will turn more and more dusty, and then it's not going to work as well. And also, I need to point out how well filters are sealed will have a big impact on the shelf life. So I've got a few examples here. So we've got the Swiss filter. I don't know if I can see a date on this one. But one thing I'll notice, tell you, is look, the plastic bag it's been sealed in has split. And if I squeeze it, you can hear that leaking out. Now luckily, it's got a seal on each end. Some filters in bags do not have seals at each end. I've had Scott filters arrive before that I've ordered off of Amazon. And luckily they were only particulate ones, but they weren't plugged at each end. And they were sealed in plastic bags. One of the bags had a split in it. So that's going to you know, cut down the thing because you can't keep it perfectly sealed. As I said, on the 3M half face masks, they say 
you know, it lasts five years when stored in the bag, but once you open it, you know, you should use it within a month. Mine's lasted a lot longer than a month, but that stands to reason that, you know, over time, even the bags that contain them can break down. Similarly, unfortunately, on my GSR respirators, now this is a great example of to do with filter expiry, you'll notice on here that the expiry date says January 2023. So that's great, right? The filters are still in um, their foil package, but oh no, there's a split there. So, basically, I've got these filters that don't run out for another six or so years, however, the bag split, so they're being exposed to the air. So regardless of even these being in date, they might not be good if I come to use them. Another example, let's have a look at Finish M61 filters. I've had some of these that have worked that are old filters and some that haven't. And um, Part of the problem with filters like these is no tamper protection on them. I can simply just take that off, expose the filter to the air, then put it back on, and you'd be none the wiser because there's no tape or anything. Like with these bottom sections as well, take that off, expose the filter to the air, and I could plug them back in later. There's no tape on there to say I've never opened it. That's why I like these Israeli filters. Now, out of a lot of the surplus filters, I think these are the best, simply because you've got a plastic cap on the top, sort of a thing here as a tamper protection that goes onto the bottom which is taped on. All in all, that is a really good, you know, sealed filter. However, that doesn't change the fact that over time glues in there could run out. If there's chemically treated papers, they could obviously dry out. And again, the carbon can break down. Also, you don't know what a filter's been like if it's been stored. Say if you bought a filter from brand new, like one of these, year of manufacture, you kept it in a good cupboard in your house, I think you'd be pretty certain where they've been. If you're buying filters that have been through numerous surplus sellers, you know, middlemen, whatever, you don't know if the filter's been bashed around, dropped, picked up, you know, anything that could ruin the internal integrity of the filter. That's one of the reasons that, again, I'd sort of stress caution. I'm not saying these won't work when they're out of date. I know there's plenty of out-of-date filters that do work, but do you want to trust your life on it? This is the really important question, especially when you can buy sometimes sealed filters that are within their expiry dates, not very much at all. So that's sort of the thing. Now, I will point out as well, I think a load of you know this video is quite funny. I tested the Czech M10 recently and I got quite fed up with it putting all the you know fil cheek filters in. And when I came to use it, it didn't work. Why? Because the filters had long since expired. Yes, they were still sealed, but they were made somewhere in the 1970s or 80s. And it seems over the 20 or 30, you know, 40 year period even, when I had them, you know, when they'd been sealed, somehow the charcoal would stop working. And when I put them in the mask, you know, the mask didn't work. So. The reason I sort of get quite offended when people say, you know, I'm a charlatan, I'm giving people fake advice, is I'm not trying to sell anything on this channel. I'm just doing it because I have an interest in it. So I'm using the same logic I'd use for myself. I wouldn't, you know, I'd ha preferably have an in-date filter as my first filter than if I have to change the secondary or third filters, whatever. They could be the ones that are slightly out of date. I think it stands to reason that you wouldn't want to use anything that's expired for obvious reasons. If something's expired, you know, by too long a period, it's probably not best to rely on it. You could have it as a backup, but not as your primary thing. So, this is, you know, my problem when people accuse me of saying, I'm, you know, you're ruining my business because you're giving people fake advice. I'm just giving people advice I take myself. And... I kind of worry if you're a surplus seller and you're advising people that your products are always good and your products are totally dependable. Like I said, there's two sides of the spectrum. There's one where you insist only brand new masks will work and once masks get to a certain age they immediately stop working. And then there's the mask and filter argument that anything will always last forever. And the reality is the middle ground. So, as I said, it's, it's just a stupid scenario really. I don't see why. I'd have to explain this to people, but apparently you do, and I'm sure there's people that won't want to listen to this anyway, but for your own safety I'd always, you know, use stuff that you know where it's been and how it's been used. And like I was saying, that even if you've got a filter that's in date, that doesn't mean that the packaging can't be broken or whatever and let air in, and even if you've got a filter that's out of date that's perfectly sealed, that doesn't mean the internal components of the filter can't have been damaged over time. You know, there's just so many variables and scenarios where you don't want to be using expired filters. So, 
that's my counter argument to the guy if he bothers watching this. As I said, because of your rude messages I just blocked you, but maybe other people are interested in this anyway. So rather than replying to you directly, I've done a video that's perfectly explained my situation, I think over um, expired filters and if or not they're still useful and I said that's what I've always told people on here is that although I'd much rather have an in-date than an out-of-date filter you know having a filter that's slightly out of date probably is going to work fine I have said I've you know tested filters that have worked fine that have been 10 years out of date but I wouldn't trust my life on them there's a big difference and this sort of reminds me of with the surplus sellers that are now still claiming GP5s don't have asbestos in We've got so many actual lab reports now that say GP5 filters have asbestos in and I think anybody who's on purposely choosing to ignore that and still advertise the filters as safe should be arrested. You know, it's just, I think, a really stupid piece of logic to take something that we know to be dangerous and then say it's safe. Same as if you're selling something that you know might not give you full protection, don't ever say that it does. As I said, I'm not selling anything here. I'm just trying to give people good advice and the best advice I can tell people is use your common sense. If something's out of date it might not protect you, it might still protect you. Anyway, that's this rant over. I hope people have enjoyed it regardless, um, you know, but that's my defence of my argument that just because a filter's in date doesn't mean it's guaranteed to work. Even if a filter's out of date it might work and there's all sorts of funny middle grounds anyway, so there you go.